who is the most underrated rider in MotoGP currently? Now, you probably haven't thought of that question, but it's one I have thought of, and I thought it'd be a good idea to give you my opinion, and also your opinion, because I asked our lovely followers on Instagram who they thought the most underrated rider in the current MotoGP grid is. Let's take a look. So, I've got the answers here on my phone. As you see, I'll put them up on screen as well. We can go through and have a look. So, I see the top one, Jack Miller, Brad Binder, Darren Binder, Alex Marquez, Luca Marini, Brad Binder. There's a bit of a theme here. Binders seem to appear a lot. Miguel Oliveira, Luca Marini, Franco Morbidelli, Johan Zarco, Zarco, Zarco again, Remy Gardner, Maverick Vinales pops up a few times, Brad Binder, Dovi, Iker Lacuna. It says, oh wait, too late. Yeah, I feel you too. Iker should be on the grid still. Johan Zarco, Luca Marini, Digi, Zarco, Frankie, Alex Marquez, Brad Binder, Luca Marini, Alisa Spogro. There's another one for you. Bezeki, one that I haven't seen as much, and we'll get on to that. Marco Bezeki is a great shout. Miguel Oliveira, Oliveira, Ben Schneider and Barry Baltus in Moto2. We're just doing the Moto GP class, but that is a good shout. Luca Marini, Zarco, Pola Spagaro, Brad Binder, Alisa Spagaro, Dovi. There's so many. Jorge Martin. I wouldn't say Jorge Martin's underrated. I think he's what I expected. He's not underappreciated. I think he's done great things. Darren Binder. Takanaka Gami, Deji, Alex Rins, Juan Mir, Juan Mir underrated, a world champion in both Moto3 and MotoGP, I don't think he's underrated, Brad Binder, Marc Vinales and Miguel Oliveira, so what do you think of those, it's the people I kind of thought that would be in the conversation for being underrated, but what makes someone underrated now the term for me is that someone who does something that doesn't really get enough praise and it kind of goes under the radar but they do it to such a, a good level you know they don't get the you know pretty much the applause that everyone else that does it gets so who do you think of when you think of underrated moto gp now there's a few people i'm going to narrow this down to i'm going to put yuan zarko brad binder Miguel Oliveira, Luca Marini, Marco Bezzecchi, they're the five that I think fall into the underrated category. So, who's the most underrated out of all of those? So, you look at it in terms of who's won a race in MotoGP. So, out of that list, we have the two KTM boys, Brad Binder and Miguel Oliveira. So, are they underrated? In a sense, yes. I think Miguel Oliveira, you know, when he gets his race wins aren't really expected as perhaps maybe on for the one that he had at the back end of 2020 the last race at Portimao he was sensational it was expected that he would win but every other race when he's had um hasn't been expected but then you look at Brad Binder he's exactly the same his race wins have been totally unexpected his first one he had at Bruno in 2020 his first race win and KTM's first race win I mean, no one thought that was going to happen, especially you know, for it to be Brad. Everyone thought it would be Polo Spagro that would take the win because he was on the KTM for such a long time. But for the rookie, Brad, to come in and just win, I mean, it was just great. And again, his win last year at Austria, yeah, no one expected that. And that was just, yeah, you know, if you've watched this channel for a while, where I stand on that victory in Austria... It is just the most awesome thing I've ever seen in MotoGP. So yeah. And then the others who don't have race wins. Johan Zarco has been labelled the bridesmaid. Which is very unfair. Two time Moto2 world champion. He's had so many podiums in MotoGP. He just hasn't got that race win. But when you look at Zarco. He consistently delivers over a season. You know. He's currently inside the top 5 in the championship again. He just goes about his business in a very cool manner he will go under the radar and practice but really he'll be inside the top 10 just doing his work and then lo and behold we get to qualifying and he can just stick it on pole or the front row that makes him very underrated then we go to the vr46 boys 
we have Luca Marini, who's in his second year of MotoGP, and Marco Buzzecchi, who is a rookie. And last time out, he finished second to Paco Bagna at Assen. So, where do you stand on this? Luca Marini has great qualifying pace at times. Last year, he qualified on the front row. I, I mean, like, he's a very fast qualifier. But sometimes in the race, I think he goes missing. And he can't really get the temperature of the tyre heated up at the start. Struggles with a heavier fuel load. But when the fuel load drops, he's very fast. And when you look at the results he's had this year, I think he had maybe three top six finishes in a row at some point. I'll put that on the screen now if he did. It was a great run. But when you look at his teammate, Marco Bezzecki, he has looked so comfortable all season, right from testing. You know, on that Ducati and to back it up he got a front row at the Italian Grand Prix in qualifying and then he went and finished second like I say in Assen. So all these riders are supremely talented. They all deserve to be a MotoGP but which one is the most underappreciated rider? And for me I think he goes under the radar because his qualifying is so bad at times but his race pace is just incredible. I think the most underrated rider in MotoGP is Brad Binder. And you've seen from the comments that we got on Instagram, a lot of people think the same. Now with Brad, his qualifying is the problem, but it doesn't matter when it comes to the race day. He is always up there and he is always able to push just straight off the bat from lights out till the end. And championship positions you know, reflect that you look at last year he was inside the top six again this year he's comfortably inside the top 10 he is such a sunday man and i think if he could get qualifying sorted we've seen him get qualifying sorted at qatar at the start of the year and he was able to fight for victory if he could do that more often he will for sure fight for world titles and also he has the most overtakes this year in the MotoGP class with 59 as we start. And his brother Darren also has 53. So the Benders are leading the way in terms of overtakes. Yeah, Brad Binder, you are the most underrated MotoGP rider in my opinion. And I think a lot of fans will agree. Let me know in the comments below who you think is the most underrated rider. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Christ MotoGP for more content.